Welcome to Electron Online. Sometimes the circuits are drawn in such a way that it's very difficult to figure out what the equivalent circuit is. In this case, again, we're trying to find the equivalent inductance between A and B. So how do we do that? How do we take something like this and make sense out of it? The best way to do that is to find the branch points, realizing that, and using a different color, that this point right here is all the same branch point, so that we can draw this as a single point in an equivalent circuit, and then using, again, a different color, we can say that this also here is a single branch point. So we're going to keep track of the equivalent circuit by realizing those are single branch points. Now notice, when we go from A to B, we can either go directly to this inductor, or we can go through the rest of the circuit somehow. So let's start with this first part right here. Here's A and here's B, so that means we can go directly from A to B through a single inductor. That's our first path from A to B. Or from A to B, we can go through these two inductors. Notice we can go from this point to this point through either one of these two inductors. That means these are in parallel and we can draw as follows. So here we have the option to go through these two inductors. These two inductors here are these two inductors here. All these, of course, are still inductance L. And this point right here, let's call this the single branch point, and let me use the color for it. This point right here is the same as this point right there. Now notice going from here to here, we can either go to the inductor at the top, or we can go to the inductor at the bottom, which means, again, we have a branch point. We have two paths to get to this branch point right here. Again, what we can do here is draw it as follows. And again, we come together down to a single branch point. Here I use the color green to indicate that this point right here is the same as this point right here. And how you get from there to there, you have the option to go through the top inductor or through the bottom inductor. And again, we have a set of inductors parallel. And finally, we can go back from this point right here, which is considered to be a single branch point, through either one of this or this inductor to get back to B. That means we again have a branch point, two possible paths, each with an inductor with inductance L, before we get back to B, like this. And this is the equivalent circuit to this. Again, all the same inductors are there in the same hook up just drawn differently so you can much easier see how to find the equivalent inductance of that particular circuit. Now we can go ahead and simplify each of the two branches because when we have two inductors in parallel and they have the same value, the equivalent inductance will be half that inductance. You can use the product of the sum rule, L total equals the first inductance times the second inductance divided by the sum of the two, which means we get L squared divided by 2L which is equal to one-half L. So we can draw the equivalent circuit, and it will look A. as follows. And B, we still have the single inductor between the two, and then we can draw that second path, each with now a single inductor instead of two inductors in parallel. Like so this one is still inductance L, hasn't changed, but each one of these branches now are drawn as a single inductor, each with inductance L over 2. Now those can be combined, because now they're in series, which means when we add them together, we simply add the inductances. So the equivalent circuit for this one will look as follows. We have, we have A, inductance between the two, B, like so, this is L, and then we have this equivalent inductor, simply the three added together, which is now 3 over 2L, and this one is L. Finally, we can combine those two inductors together into a single inductor. Notice that these are in parallel. From A to B, we can either go through this inductor or through the other one. Two possible paths, therefore they're in parallel. And so the equivalent inductance now can be drawn as follows. This is A, which is simply a single inductor. How do we find that equivalent inductance? Again, we use the product over the sum. So L total will be equal to the product, which is L times 3 over 2L divided by L plus 3 over 2L, which is equal to 
3 over 2 L squared divided by a whole plus 3 halves is 5 halves L. This L cancels out with that L, divide by 2 in the numerator, divide by 2 in the denominator, and so finally this would become 3 fifths L as the equivalent inductance of the original circuit. And that's how we do that.